I love black guys because they don't discriminate against pussy. True Lincoln Log story. Google it. My great-great-great-grandfather, Austin Goller, was boyhood friends of Abraham Lincoln. And one time, uh, they were running late for dinner. And Abe Lincoln uh, didn't want to miss any uh, raccoon soup. <laughs> so as they were crossing a Lincoln log by Knob Creek, Abe slipped and almost drowned. And his friend Austin ended up saving Abe from drowning. Which will go down as the greatest presidential save since JFK kept Maryland warm for Bobby. But what sucked for Austin Goller is that Abe had a vision while almost drowning in Knob Creek about him being the man responsible for helping liberate the black man from slavery. Yet he had Austin promise to not tell a soul about Austin saving him from drowning to death because he couldn't let the black man know that he was a worse swimmer than they. And growing up, I wish LeVar Ball was my coach dad because he would make sure that I lost my virginity before my younger brother did. You know, he'd get very creative and he would get Rihanna to pop my cherry prematurely by offering her you know, future profit participation points and ball aware. I feel like a bigger baller inside. To make sure that I would strut down the court with more of a big pimping Jay-Z type aura instead of me prancing on the court on my tippy toes looking like I was modeling high heels instead of high tops. <laughs> but to start on a much more smaller scale, he would throw me a house party, and only invite the stuck-up Jenny from the block. <laughs> One second into the party, LeVar Balls, my coach dad, gets up in Jenny's ear and yells, The Yoo-Hoo bottle doesn't spin itself, bitch! <laughs> you know, growing up, my father called me a waste of height, and he had a very strong argument because the highlight of my basketball career senior year was scoring 10 points against an old Japanese team. Every time I drifted a hoop, their players ran away scared like they were movie extras in a Godzilla film. Except whenever they pointed at me, they instead of saying, look, Godzilla, they'd say, look, Hugh Grant on stilts. <laughs> I loved the NBA when it didn't exist as a safe space for LeBron James' ego. Do you think Obama would be good? Do you think... Barack Obama, after LeBron's Lakers loss in the first round this year, do you think he immediately like bolted for his man cave in Martha's Vineyard to access his secret Almond Joy stash hid behind a giant box of duct tape from Costco? Joan lives. Holla! Thank you very much! What's it like being an unplanned father of three? Drinking alone is no longer an issue. I actually gave up drinking beer last summer. I felt terrible spending so much time hungover, Recycling, empty reminders of my lushy litter pass as entire Rocky Marathons on AMC passed me by. I stopped smoking weed altogether after I thought my daughter was asleep already. Because I feel like a total moron trying to answer her questions on it while trying to get her to sleep again. Daughter asked, Daddy, so if God created the universe and who created God? Eventually, I come up with God went back in time in a time machine made by Elon Musk. And my daughter says... It's really convincing, Dad. Thanks for making me an atheist at four. Last night, my daughter says, Daddy, what do you do after you talk to me in at night? And I said, I squeeze in some me time, all right? Sexual harassment solution. Start every Zoom call with raise your hands up high where I could see them. And that includes all you Jeffrey Tubin wannabes at the New Yorker, too. <laughs> you could also offer a safe space for jerking off at work if the remote work arrangement isn't doable anymore. <laughs> Just so security doesn't have to uh, yank you out of the bathroom stall by your heels while getting warmed up for karaoke later that night while singing, you don't come around here no more. Tom Petty lives. Holla. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. My two sons are gorgeous. I got three kids in total. I've aged well, I know. Wife hasn't sucked the life out of my face just yet, despite 
constantly bemoaning, I've sacrificed. She acts like an aspiring comedian in his late 20s, one of kids ever. I call my two sons stud alerts on the loose. My youngest son, I call him uh, Chosen Curls, was bound to woo because grandma's flirted at him at Stop and Shop. They'll say, when you get older, you'll have three girlfriends to juggle. And I'll say, no offense, lady, but if James Woods had this kid's face, your estimates wouldn't be so conservative. The other day, my wife had a Hillary Clinton, okay, Hillary Hammerton cankle spotting at a lunch spot in Chappaqua. Wife says, oh, Hillary was very friendly, smiling at the baby. I said, of course she was smiling at the baby. She was getting warmed up for dessert. But yeah, both my kids are very good looking, so I'm going to make sure that uh, they do not start junior high unless they are accompanied by a lawyer on their person at all times to hand out pre pandage consent forms if needed. Are college students today being uh, accused of excessive dry humping? If they are, I think that the accusers should have to stare their fleshy head wounds in person after the fact <laughs> to see who the real victim is in this case. <laughs> What's great about having uh, a son is that he is the best slacker alert you've never had. For example, the other day after school, my son says, so daddy, did you go on the Peloton yet? And I said, no, I got food poisoning last night. And my son says, enough with the excuses, daddy. You're worse than Hillary. Whenever I'm out uh, with my three kids, uh, without mama, I always run into like other dads and they'll say, you've got your hands full. And I'll say, if my book, The Great American Jew Novel, a great anti-Semitic qualifying gift, by the way, <laughs> if my book, The Great American Jew Novel, ever lands a literary agent that's able to locate his ball sack sometime this century. And if that ultimately results in my wife finally agreeing to an open marriage with Jessica Simpson, sexual napalm incarnate, then my hands would be full.